welcome back to KTN's call line and uh, this being the second part of the show, the first part of the show where we got to bring you all the highlights from the 2017 edition of the Standard Chartered Nairobi Marathon that happened uh, this morning, of course, with a few people still uh, trying to complete the race. We also told you who has been promoted to the Kenya Premier League and we also got to give you a sneak peek of what to expect when Shuja land, Shuja's land in Dubai. On this second part of the show is an interview where we'll be focusing on a football tournament organized to create awareness around uh, the lupus condition and uh, very few sportsmen and women are aware of uh, lupus, a particular body disorder in which the body's immune system attacks the healthy cells with no cure available for the condition. The Kenya Football's Welfare Association partnered with the current hospital and Mata Hospital to organize a football tournament at Ruaraka Grounds with several teams from Nairobi taking part in an effort to raise a lupus awareness among footballers and other sportsmen and women. A football tournament organized and played yesterday to create awareness uh, around the lupus condition. And uh, to dwell more on that football tournament, I have in studio to my immediate left, Nick Kimanthi, founder uh, Fight Lupus Kenya. We also have Jerry Santo, Secretary General Kenya Football, uh, Footballers Welfare Association, and the president, or is it chairman, <laughs> James Ituma? Either way. Either way. Yeah. We, which one do you prefer? The chairman. Chairman. Oh, the oh, well, because the football Kenya <laughs> Federation is going with president, probably we need to also go with president Kenya Football yeah, yeah, we have Association. An, uh, so gonna, uh, but it's, it's okay. glad to have you in studio. Let's talk more about the football tournament played yesterday. You know, what was it exactly and why? Uh, it's it's something that you are, as you have said, uh, you know, uh, fight in lupus Kenya. Uh, lupus is a disease that. Uh, it's little known to the to the public. So when uh, Fight Lupus Kenya came on board, and uh, they wanted to, to we us to partner with them so that we can sensitize uh, the public through through something like tournament because football is loved uh, with a lot of people. It's watched uh, around the world. So we thought through football uh, we can have that crowd and maybe um, make sure that we sensitize them, uh, sensitize them about the the disease because it's something that many people don't know about it. Mm. And uh, Jerry, yes. Secretary Generals are, are, are known and meant to be organizers. You know, they're the people who organize things and make sure things are organized. So the tournament yesterday, was it a success? How many teams took part? You know, just give us an overview. Uh, I can say it's, uh, it was a success because uh, we had uh, 24 teams participate in the tournament. Uh, being the first tournament that we've organized, I can say uh, it was uh, uh, much a success. And uh, uh, for the uh, 24 teams to come in uh, in the morning, the weather was not that, uh, that good. And uh, apart from the 24 teams, we had a good crowd that uh, came to support uh, and to actually uh, learn more about uh, the disease. Uh, uh, we can say it was a success uh, being the first tournament held. Mm. And coming to Kimanthi, I, I, I am tempted to say Kimanthi, Kimanthi. <laughs> but yeah, uh, founder Fight Lupus Kenya, um, why football? Why use football to create awareness? Mm -hmm. Okay. In our strategic plan, uh, one of our key areas was uh, uh, creating uh, partnership. So we thought through sports, you can't go wrong. That's why I approached these guys uh, on helping us create an awareness. Because through sports, you can always have the crowd, you can always have the people to talk to. Because in Kenya, currently, we have a problem with creating awareness. A lot of people don't know about lupus. It's us to go out there and tell people about lupus. Mm. And probably shed some light, tell us some more about the Fight Lupus Foundation, Kenya. 
Uh, Fight Loopers Kenya, we started this year. It's a new organization whose aim is uh, to support uh, people living with lupus. Currently, we have a group of around uh, three, uh, 300 patients around Nairobi that we normally meet uh, after every two months to support them maybe morally and all that. We have some, uh, some uh, counseling sessions every two months. Mm. Yeah. So our main aim, we want to have a world where people living with lupus can live a full life and active life. That's, that's our main objective. Mm -hmm. And um, Situma, you know, when, when they came to you, you know, when the foundation came to you, it's, it's fairly new, it's uh, started this year. But why did you think it was also a good idea for the Kenya Footballers Welfare Association to partner with them? Okay, the, the organization of Kenya Footballers Welfare Association always uh, deal with the profession of footballers. But also, beside that, uh, we have a role to play in the community. So it was uh, one way of maybe giving back to the community because it's not all about football. And uh, if it is an, a good idea that we can sense that the, the public through sports, then we, we have to do it because... Uh, be, because even the, 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 the public, the fans, the, there are so many guys who always watch football. So if we can give back to the community through sensitizing them, then it was, an, a, a, it was a, a good idea for us. And uh, we, we thought we could partner. And uh, as the secretary said, it was something good. And uh, for us, it was a success. Mm -hmm. And uh, we are planning many things to come going forward. And what is the partnership like? Like, are you giving funding? Are you sourcing for funding for the foundation? Because that seems to be a need for for the for the foundation. Yeah, if uh, we are we are doing this together because uh, we believe uh, even when when we, we are planning these events, you know, money is involved, and uh, we have those guys who are affected with the with the disease. So we we are also we also need them to come forward and get some help, and uh, it involves money. So if we can do something about it and maybe have something on board together, then it's a, it's a, a good cause for us. Mm -hmm. And Jerry, the football tournament, is it a one-off? I know it's a seven-a-side tournament. Um, and, you know, as you, you've been asking for as many teams uh, to participate over the week. And is it a one-off tournament? Is it a tournament that will be there annually after three months? You know, what's the format of, of the tournament? Okay. Uh, when we started it, uh, after they approached us, uh, we, 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 re, we uh, actually, football is a tool. And uh, you can never go wrong with football. So we decided that in, in, uh, as footballers, the only way we can give back is we create a tournament uh, or which, uh, as the, the union, we represent the footballers so we can assemble the footballers and uh, footballing teams to come and help in uh, creating awareness. And uh, uh, being the first one, and uh, we are not uh, thinking of uh, stopping uh, to maybe have such tournaments again. Uh, we believe we are going to have, uh, 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 we are in fact planning to have a, a calendar uh, uh, of events uh, that we can have uh, a year. We know we are going to have uh, like uh, how many tournaments uh, within a year. And uh, it's not going to be only in Nairobi alone. We are planning to go out there because like uh, Kim said, uh, there are so many people living with lupus, and some of them uh, don't even know about it. Uh, and some uh, are afraid to come out and, and say that they are living with lupus. So you can imagine in Nairobi if someone is uh, afraid of uh, maybe uh, sharing his condition, his or her condition, uh, you can imagine out there in the remote areas. So the tournament is not going to be only in Nairobi. It's going to be uh, uh, even in the other counties and uh, we are going to have more of them next year, uh, uh, maybe quarterly, uh, and uh, if need be, uh, maybe even monthly. Mm. And uh, Kimanthi, yes. I see one of your main aims is uh, to make sure that people with lupus, which has no cure, yeah. uh, get to live an active life. You know, what exactly is lupus? Lupus is a, a chronic autoimmune disease whereby instead of your body, Instead of protecting your body, it fights against your own body. Yeah. So with uh, our uh, plan eh, is uh, once uh, we have created awareness, now we have the we have the numbers. We need to to be supporting these patients. 
so that they can maybe live their uh, full life, they can go on with their normal duties. They can go on with their normal professions and all that. So were you able to collect any amount of money from yesterday's tournaments? Uh, from the uh, we, we, we still trying to combine uh, from the the Lupus Awareness Soccer Tournament Committee. Once they give us the report, that, that, that's when maybe maybe you can conclude if we made any amount or not. Mm -hmm. But for now, not sure. Okay, so but thank you very positive. much and, and all the very best. But uh, we'll first uh, move on with the show and.